There may be times when you're using a PPC process gauge, but you can't have it liquid filled for whatever the reason is. Maybe the customer doesn't like liquid filled gauges, he's had issues with them in the past, or sometimes it's a process that if the fill fluid was to leak and get into the process, you could have a reaction, even an explosion. So what can we offer at that point? Well, what we can do is if you're still dealing with pulsation and vibration, we can use what's called the stabilizer gauge. The stabilizer is the name of a very special movement. It's a dampened movement. It'll give you the same effect as if you liquid fill the process gauge. It'll stabilize that pointer out even when you're dealing with pulsation and vibration. Now the only way you would know the difference between these two gauges is the word stabilizer would be on the dial. That's how you would know you were getting a gauge with a stabilizer movement. So the question is, what is a stabilizer movement and how does it work? Well, the best way to show you is to show you the movement itself. Now, if you looked at this, you might think, well, it's just a standard movement. It is a rack and pinion movement. You see the gears as it's moved here. This would normally be hooked up to the end of your board-on tube. So as the board-on tube displaces, it moves the gears, and when the gears move, you see the pointer turn. Now, on a regular gauge, if you were getting vibration pulsation, this would be jiggling around, and you'd have a little bit of slop in the gearing, and as a result, what would happen is your pointer would be jumping around. But what we've done is with the potted movement, you'll notice that the pointer shaft actually is extended out the back of the movement. Now you'll see this pot, what's inside this pot is we put a little wheel on the end of the shaft and then there's a bung on the back of this movement and they fill the uh, cap, if you will, with a silicone dampening agent. That is pressed on over the bung and so now what it has done is it has bathed that wheel in this dampening agent. As a result, it creates enough drag on the back of the pointer shaft so you don't get that pulsation and vibration. So in, the, in essence, this gauge, even though it's a dry gauge with the dampened movement in it, will perform the same as if you had liquid filled this process gauge. The cost between the two is the same. Whether you fill this gauge or whether you get the stabilizer movement, we're able to provide it at the same price point. The dampen movement or stabilizer movement as Winters has branded it is also available not only in the PPC gauge but it's available in the PFQ gauge which is two and a half or four inch. It's available in the PFP gauge two and a half and four inch as well as our NACE gauge or PN2. This gives a wide variety of options where you can stock these gauges on the shelf. They don't have to be liquid filled, but yet they can be used in processes that have a lot of pulsation and vibration. In the PEM, which is an economy gauge or dry gauge, we do not have stabilizers, but we do have a line of gauges called the P9S. If you look on our website, what you'll find is the P9S is a step up from the PEM. It's a little bit more accurate, but the real advantage it also comes with a potted movement, so it is dampened. So even though it would be considered an economy gauge, it still can be used in applications that have vibration and pulsation. 